Hi, Tony here at Views from the Man Cave, and today I'm going to be taking a look at the Nex XD1 Multi Sport Helmet. So this is the Nex XD1 helmet. As you can see, it's a multi-sport helmet, so it is a little bit of a venture away from my normal style of gear. The reason I wanted to review this is because Nex have put some interesting thoughts into some of the stuff that goes around this. So the review is partly uh, for those guys that are into this style of uh, this style of, of helmet, um, but also some of the uh, some of the extras that that Nex have, have built into this as well. Okay, so let's get uh, down to some of the details of the helmet. This is as it comes from the box with the peak and everything on. Uh, the first thing I wanted to talk about was just some of the safety features. With this type of helmet, quite often, some of the injuries reported are broken sternums or chest plates where the chin of the helmet actually whacks you on the chest in a bad accident. Uh, this has got a specially shaped um, plastic nose to it to avoid doing that. You've got these very well thought out and they're being used much more by manufacturers now, these emergency straps here. Um, these are so that if you are in an accident, the paramedics know that they can get a finger underneath that, pull that tab and it will pull that section out of the helmet, uh, which then obviously makes it much easier to get the helmet off of the injured person. If you look around the helmet, uh, you've got the peak, you've got a nice full visor with a big tab to be able to open. There's a lever on the top here, just here, and that pops down a fighter pilot style dark shade, which is very useful. At the moment here, it's got a closed in vent. You can push on that to open that to allow a little bit of air in if uh, you're getting a little bit steamed up. And in terms of the lining, you've got this kind of neoprene finish and that goes right the way through the helmet very nice uh, comfortable place to be it's quite a quiet helmet as well you've also got the functionalities of being able to fit a comms unit a center comms unit which is dedicated to this helmet which goes in here and you've got all the appropriate places for a speaker and earpieces in there but i'll cover that off on a separate video i'll do a separate video showing how that fits uh, the one other section you've got this removable chin garter as well which sits in the front there you can have that on or off as you like now one of the things that i did like about this helmet when i mentioned before is the modularity of it and this is why i was quite impressed so here it comes in i guess enduro mode you can take that visor off and wear it with goggles and that you've got that in kind of motocross off-road trail riding mode or you can take this peak off um, and it looks like a touring or potentially sports bike helmet so there's a lot of functionality in this multi-sport helmet what i like about it is the extras that they throw in with this so in the box you get a peak extension if you want to extend that peak out even further it's pretty long as it is you get an extra set of pads to help with the fitting of the helmet it comes in a box with a pin lock designed for the helmet so that's a nice touch and it comes in the usual nice soft carry bag uh, the bit that intrigued me or the bit that i liked about this is all the extra little bits and pieces that you get so you do get a bag of goodies to go with it and this has all sorts of bits and pieces in so if for example you wanted to ride it motocross style and you didn't want this flip open and close chin piece there is a mesh piece that will replace that so you've got constant airflow. This little section here, this will unscrew, that's the bit that holds your Senna comms unit in place. And this is where it starts to get interesting. This is where I think Nex have thought about it really well, is that these side panels, I'll give you a demonstration actually to show you. With the peak, there's a little screw section on the top. And then to the side, you can see there's a lever clip here that just sits on a little notch if you lever that forward and do the same on the other side that just opens some little locking tabs and then once those off off comes the peak and then in the box you've got a number of fittings so for example 
here's just a plain replacement piece so if you want to wear it without the visor this will just snap into place and you put the same connector in place and that just covers up you've also got this section here you can just pop that off and then in the box you have this alternate piece so you have to undo this one screw at the front here pop this in place screw that back on and then you're left with a perfectly flat mount to mount an action cam pad to. So if you're running with a GoPro or a, um, a drift camera and you want to have a mount on here, you can stick your mount to this flat panel. So it's perfectly flat and designed to have a mount stuck on it. Get your camera positioned where you want. But if you don't want to ride around with that camera on all the time, instead of having to take the camera off and leave the mount on the side, you can un just unscrew that, take that off, and put the blanking plate back in and it's nice and normal so you can swap that around from side to side um, and leave the mount on this i think that is a very clever idea um, and i know from trying to mount cameras onto helmets that can be quite a difficult thing to do so that's a really good feature they also make uh, this section here this only will work in conjunction with the peak um, and it is a case of just pacing it through that hole pushing it back until it clicks and then lining up the hole and screwing that back in and then when that screws back in you've got a nice part there again you can put the mount on that leave the mount on that but you don't have to have it on the helmet all the time so all of these bits and pieces that i've shown you come with the helmet there is also an optional extra so if you want to ride this motocross dialy once these side panels are off you can pop the visor off you can then put that part back in place which I showed you earlier just to cover that up and you can just wear goggles around that's all right. you can wear goggles around uh, the outside of the helmet like so you've got a nice big eye port so these are a pair of built well moto goggles and they go in there very nicely but if you prefer to use a quick strap which a lot of the riders do um, I'll open these and show you up these are these are cheap to buy you can buy these from uh, online and a lot of motocross riders use these effectively what it does is this part of the strap just replaces so you unthread this thread that strap through and you have this quit strap function and that gives you the ability just to be able to pull one side off and pull the goggles to one side without having to take them off you also don't have the strap around the back so these are quite a neat uh, piece of kit that a lot of guys are using um, next also make an optional extra for the helmet uh, which you can order separately which again is a replacement for this piece here and it's designed to take the quick strap fitting so the quick strap comes with these kind of self adhesive sticky pads and you've got perfectly shaped holes to mount those on and again just switch it over as and when you need it so if you want to put that in there to have the quick strap fitting on it you can do that if you're not using the quick strap you can just take that off, put the standard one back in, and everything's hunky-dory. One thing to bear in mind if you're using quick straps, and if you already use them, you'll know this, uh, but they won't fit on every style of goggle. And what you have to have is a traditional style moto goggle that's got a relatively broad strap. Because effectively, you, you get this end of this strap in the quick straps with this plastic bracket that fits over it to lock that off it's worth checking out you need an aperture of at least an inch and a half or just under four centimeters any narrower and it will be no good you also have ventilation in the top of the helmet here so on both sides you've got a single step one back to get a little bit of a gap second step to get a second gap to that so again nice little bit of ventilation there and you have uh, little uh, vents at the back as well to be able to let that air flow through which most should make this a cool helmet to wear so the next xd1 multi-sport helmet um, it's a fantastic helmet if you're into this type of helmet 
I think this is great. The thought and execution of what Nex have done with this, with the interchangeability of parts, uh, the the mounts for the action cams on the side and the top, I think is a brilliant idea. It's light, it's comfortable, it's got a lot of safety features. Uh, I think this is great. If this is the sort of helmet you're into, then I highly recommend you click on the information button up here if you're on a mobile or an annotation or the information button if you're on your desktop. Go across the Motor Legends website, have a look at the detail on this helmet, go to the next website, have a look around there um, and go and try one out. Uh, thank you for watching and until next time, take care, ride safe and I'll see you soon. Bye.